What's up, guys? Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. Definitely aren't going to recognize me in this setting, in a car, but we're, we're going to mix it up a little bit this week. I'm actually driving uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, down here on location, uh, filming and working with some of my guys, and I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to eat. Now, your first question might be, well, on the Athlean X Factor meal plan, can I eat out somewhere and actually get something to eat? And the answer is a resounding yes. Now, the greatest part is I have no idea where I'm going right now. I literally am just sort of driving in an area. I've never been to this part of Georgia before, and I'm just trying to find something I can eat. The, the reality is that I promise you, no matter where we pick, I will help you find something to eat because I'm going to be able to eat there. And I'll show you the things that I go through to determine what it is on that menu I can eat. But um, let me keep driving here. When I come upon a spot, then I will uh, I'll be back and walk you through exactly what my mind is when I hit one of these places and show you how you truly can eat anywhere if you've got a couple key points in your mind and if you're following the Athletics Meal Plan. All right, so the first thing I saw here was a mall, um, knowing that there's usually a lot of places either in or around the mall to eat, so that's a good place to start. Um, I see right here a California Pizza Kitchen. Uh, what else? There, there's a Cheesecake Factory up here. Um, what else is this? There's a Benihana. We know we could eat really well at a Benihana. Let's go to the Cheesecake because there's nothing about cheesecake that sounds really uh, like it's fit for the athlete meal plan, but we're going to make it work. So let me pull in here. And again, guys, it's a foolproof method. I'm going to show you how you can do this, regardless of where you wind up. We could have done California Pizza Kitchen if we wanted to, too, but let's go inside and see what we got. All right, guys, so here we are inside the Cheesecake Factory, and the first thing I'm going to do is not even look at the menu. What you have to do is you got to come in here with a plan, and the plan being a four-step plan of what I use whenever I go into a restaurant. And it focuses on a few really easy to follow steps. The first thing you want to do is make sure the foundation of your meal is a lean protein. So whether that be shellfish like uh, scallops or shrimp or whatever, right? I don't even know if scallops is a shellfish, but you know what I mean. Or tuna or salmon or some kind of fish chicken, turkey, pork, it's got to be a lean source of protein, right? And then what we're going to do is see how it's prepared. If it's fried, it's out. So you can take chicken, this is where a lot of guys trip up, you can take chicken and then they come back and they say, oh, I have chicken parmesan. Well, yeah, but it's fried in breadcrumbs, so you want to take that out. So you got to look at how it's prepared. Once you determine that it's been prepared healthily, like by grilling it or broiling it, uh, searing it, those are all words that are all you know, good. Steaming it's fine, but you're going to have a bland meal, and we really don't want to have you know, be stuck with bland meals here. You don't have to. So you make sure you've got your lean protein that's prepared well. Then you want to make sure that it has fibrous carbohydrates surrounding it. What I mean by that is vegetables. You know, does it have uh, asparagus? Does it have broccoli? Does it have uh, snap peas? Does it have you know whatever you know? whatever it is that you like, but you have to make sure that it's got a, a good serving of fibrous carbohydrates or vegetables inside the meal. And then lastly, you might be shocked, you don't want to fear the carbohydrates, the starchy carbohydrates. As a matter of fact, you have to have them in there. If you're training hard, guys, you have to replenish what you're burning off. So you want to make sure that you have fibrous carbohydrates like rice, like some pasta, um, you know, like uh, uh, couscous, like orzo, things like that that are in the meal, get them in there, uh, sweet potatoes, and don't fear them. Include them in there and realize that when you're eating them, you are helping to replenish the carbohydrates that you burned off as you were exercising and the glycogen that you burned through when you were exercising. So you want to think of that as a fuel and replenish that. Lastly, the only other thing I want to do is if there's anything in a meal, it could be a perfect meal except for the sauce, or it could be a perfect meal except for one component, like cheese or something fatty that you don't, or sour cream on top. If it can be removed easily, guys, take it off. Just ask them to take it off. 
Most restaurants will never have a problem with that, especially in this day and age with guys trying to eat healthier. Ask them to remove that, put it on the side. If it's something embedded in the whole meal, like a chicken alfredo or a fettuccine alfredo, you're going to have to pass. It's not something you can eat, all right? But you're going to be left with a lot of choices. So now we can take a look at the menu, knowing what our rules are, and see what we can come up with. All right, guys, so I got the menu open now, finally. But the first thing I'm looking at is cocktails, martinis, margaritas, blended. Guys, the problem with this is not only will it inhibit your your ability to sort of control your appetite later, but it's a bunch of calories that you're gonna consume without even knowing really where you are after two, three drinks. Because a lot of these things can have upwards of 300, 400, even 600 calories. But now as we get into the, the, the meals themselves, again, you look at some of these things, uh, crispy, crispy wrappers filled with spiced chicken, so that means it's probably fried, the crispy stuff. Um, light corn and crisp in a, a fresh corn in a light crispy batter again no protein and fried crispy um, mini corn dogs I think we can rule those out uh, again Vietnamese tacos I mean you're looking at some of the things that has a lot of the, the vegetables in there which is good um, steamed Asian buns is actually wouldn't be a bad choice here uh, roasted pork is not my first choice for a protein but it's actually not a bad um, not a bad choice let's get into some of the the main meals. One of the things you will see here is that this menu is enormous here at the Cheesecake Factory. So if you're one that gets hung up on choices, you're probably not going to like being here because you have too much to pick from. A bunch of pizzas. You're not even out of the woods here as far as vegetable pizza. Roasted eggplant, red and yellow peppers, grilled onions, artichokes, calamata olives, tomato, mozzarella, goat cheese, arm request. You know, again, this is fine, but you're lacking protein here. And again, pizza is not completely ruled off. We actually have it on the ultimate men's menu in Athlete X2. If you make it right and you add your protein, you're actually uh, uh, not, you know, not uh, having to rule that out completely. Uh, hamburgers, again, all different ways to do them. Um, look at what the toppings are. This is topped with creamy fried macaroni, uh, cheese balls. I mean, cheddar cheese sauce. This is probably a heart attack on, on a, a heart attack on a plate. But you can find other options inside of the uh, there as well. What I like to do is, again, go to sort of the specialties because in here you're going to find the different types of chicken that you can have, uh, again, as your main protein. Uh, again, pasta, you don't have to rule it out. Again, let's just take a look at one uh, here. Louisiana chicken pasta, Parmesan crusted chicken served over pasta and mushrooms, peppers and onions, and a spicy New Orleans sauce. I'd find out what the spicy New Orleans sauce is. It's probably more of a red. Or, or, or brown sauce, which is not, not bad. Uh, but the Parmesan crusted chicken, the crusted part means it's probably fried. So again, you can ask them if they can maybe just grill this chicken and put it in here. But again, making a modification to a meal that otherwise would not be bad, especially if this New Orleans sauce is not, is not bad, you know, not a cream-based sauce, then you can make this actually work for you. Alright guys, so as you saw we conquered the Cheesecake Factory, but it doesn't matter, you can apply this guys anywhere. Remember as I say, even with our training, when you know the science behind the strength, and you know what the principles are, you can train anywhere, you don't need a lot of equipment, you can get the job done. Well now you can do the same exact thing here at any restaurant where you're eating out. You just have to apply the same principles and be able to get it done. We can eat, we can live normal lives, we can eat out when we want to be, we can be social, and it doesn't mean that we have to trade in all of that just to be athlean. If you want to get the Athlean X meal plan, it comes with the Athlean X training system. You can get it all at athleanx.com right now. I hope you guys like this sort of on location shoots. I know that it's been something you guys have asked for a while. Well, we took you right inside and showed you exactly how it is that I do it. Now apply it yourself and get ripped. Get yourself that body that you need to. We'll be back here, guys, for more videos. Let me know if you want to see me out on location even more, and we'll try to get those done too.